Okay, mono hybrid question number four, page eight. It says, uh, take two F1 generations, and we're saying from the, it says above here, but we know from the previous question number three. So two F1 generations. If we go back and take a look at that, remember that all the offspring were heterozygous round. Okay, so two of them, there's her parents. Uh, and of course, they want a genotype and a phenotypic ratio of the F2 generation. So we're taking two F1 guys. We're going to need to make a Punnett square with that. Uh, of course, the legend is the same, so we just bypass that. Uh, we isolate those gametes into, or sorry, isolate those genotypes into gametes. One parent on top. We don't know male or female, so it's arbitrary who we put on top or the side. Fill in the Punnett square. We see that. That's round. Again, when we're filling in the Punnett square, we're simulating fertilization. That's also round. Capital R, little r is round. And the only one we have here is this last box, which is wrinkled. Okay. And our ratio, count the boxes up out of four boxes. Three of them are going to be round. One of them is going to be wrinkled. So in a previous question or somewhere in the notes there, we talked about this is a very typical ratio when both parents are heterozygous in a monohybrid cross. Three to one ratio, you're always gonna see that. So remember some of those patterns. The other pattern we talked about, if one parent is heterozygous, so let's just do this real quick. If one individual is heterozygous and the other one is homorecessive, you would expect a 50-50. And you can see that right here. 50% are going to be wrinkled. 50% are going to be round. Remember these patterns. They're going to help you out in some future questions. Thanks, guys.